St. Augustine is one of our favorite cities anywhere. We make lots of videos on this channel about its history, and we love giving you insider tips, since it seems like we're always in town. The nation's oldest city is a hotbed for new business. Mom and pops, small chains, large chains, business owners love to have a presence in St. Augustine, and for good reason. Several million people visit here every year. If it's been a while since you've paid a visit, you're planning a trip, and wonder if anything has changed since the last time you were here, this is the video you have to see. On this episode, we're taking you around St. Augustine and the beaches to show you what's new in 2023. We're hitting everything from new restaurants and lodging options to a mini museum and a couple of new donut places. It's all good and it's all straight ahead from St. Augustine. When you shop St. George Street in St. Augustine, make some time to check out the smallest walk-in museum in the nation. Carpellus Manuscript Mini Museum opened last summer and is free. Regardless of size, the mini museum packs a punch with 40 exhibits of copies from their original collection, which is the largest private manuscript collection in the world. This little gem is part of a chain of several much larger museums around the country, including one near Orlando in Lake Mary. Adjacent to the city's main plaza on King Street, you'll find the St. Augustine location of a donut chain that got its start in Pittsburgh. Peace, love, and little donuts helps feed your inner hippie with three big categories on the menu. Groovy, far out, and funkadelic. Always made fresh with so many toppings to choose from. They also now offer vegan donuts. On West King Street across US-1 is a new place to grab a pizza. Old Town Pizza and Tavern serves up traditional American and Italian food with a twist. This is a popular local spot with karaoke and live entertainment a few nights a week. One of the newest restaurants in St. Augustine can be found here in the historic Lincolnville neighborhood. Rue Organics came onto the scene in late 2022, serving up Southern Cajun cuisine. Ingredients are sourced from local farms, so everything is always the freshest and always in season. They offer both dine-in and grab-and-go options. The new Hilton Garden Inn has made its debut on US-1, a short walk from the old gel and trolley service. While we've never stayed at this location, I love the modern interior design of these rooms. This would be a good option if you're looking for a place to stay just outside the heart of the historic district. 
the hotel allows pets for a nominal fee, we might be bringing our boy Leo and checking in here the next time we spend the night in St. Augustine. We've now made our way over to Volano Beach and a new eatery just steps from the sand. Surfside Kitchen opened last fall offering brick oven pizzas with fresh ingredients along with seafood and chicken entrees. The bar has a number of specialty cocktails to choose from. They also have live music in the evening and brunch on the weekend. While we're here in Volano, we need to tell you about a new Hyatt place right now under construction. Currently taking reservations for May of 23, the hotel will have 120 rooms, including 10 suites. In keeping with the overall vibe of Volano, the hotel will have an Art Deco aesthetic, which I can't wait to see. Parlor Donuts is a chain that was founded in 2019. The company will be opening a location in St. Augustine Beach and selling their specialty layered donuts. Gluten-friendly and keto-friendly donuts will also be on the menu. We're hoping to see this place open later in 2023. And the bonus next door in the same plaza Cousteau's Waffle and Milkshake Bar opening another location right here on A1A. St. Augustine's newest food tour is called Food Tour V. It's a walking food tour through downtown where you visit six eateries, all plant-based. No animal products on any of the menus. The tour covers about half a mile and can take up to four hours. That's it. Our look at what's new in St. Augustine in 2023. Do you have plans to visit the nation's oldest city anytime soon? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. We have travel tips, maps, and links to the places mentioned in our videos on our website, chatgallivanter.com. Check it out for your trip planning needs. Hey, one last thing. We've produced a ton of content on St. Augustine over the years. Take a look at some of our previous videos in our archives. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.